Hello there. This is Raj and he just turned 13. His parents threw him a huge birthday party but his best friend could not make it. However, his friend had asked him to write down every detail of the party so that he could share it with him once he was back. What do you think Raj would have written about his party? From what Raj studied at school, he knew he could write a detailed and well-described essay. He would do so with the help of the show and don't tell strategy. Let us see how he went about that. The first step to writing a descriptive essay would be to frame a topic sentence that gives the reader a gist of what the writer is going to speak about in the essay. It should also support the title of the essay. Raj had named his essay a party to remember. The topic sentence he chose was, I decided to host my 13th birthday party at home. It was a trivia themed party and I had the best time of my life. Let us see what comes next. Next is supporting details. We make use of sensory details, adjectives and figurative language to engage the reader and to support the topic sentence. The third stage of descriptive writing is to organize these details. Let us understand what are sensory details, adjectives and figurative language. Sensory details are the five senses of touch, hear, smell, taste and sight that a writer employs to engage a reader and to help them visualize. Rad stated, the cheese was melted and spread over the chips with a dash of tangy salsa and fresh olives and beans. The details like tangy and fresh gave an exact sensory description of the food. And lastly, there is figurative language. Figurative language uses an ordinary sentence to refer to something without directly stating it. There were three figuratives used in Raj's essay, metaphor, simile and personification. A metaphor compares two things or people without using as or like. For example, the quiz master is compared to Albert Einstein. A simile compares two things or people by using the words like and as. Next up is personification which means to give human qualities to animals and objects. For example, time flew by before we knew. Raj is almost done with his descriptive essay. The last part of descriptive writing is the conclusion which gives closure, just like what Raj has done here. Let's hope that his friend gets to experience the party through Raj's words. See you soon.